me everyone Pulcher here with an Age of Magic video and in today's video we are going to look at Thane Ark because we may have been looking at this character all wrong and I'm going to start by apologizing for my voice I have been deathly sick these last few days um and as you can tell I'm 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 getting better I'm I'm almost there so send help <coughs> anyway Thane Ark we've been looking at this character wrong and something happened was it um this tournament or last tournament where um some questions were being asked because someone and i forget who it was it was shown to me in a picture but an ungodly amount of tournament points i mean they were millions above the second place and third place um it, it seemed so odd that um, the player was reported for cheating. And Playcock came back with the, not cheating, this guy's legit. So, it got people asking questions. How did they get that many points? And the only answer was Thane Arg. Um, because Thane Arg has a very special ability. And that ability is, he doesn't need the orcs at all. He, he is happy to go by himself. He... Think of him as a preacher within this game, and his flock of sheep are any faction you want. They could be the kobolds, they could be the demons, any faction that you would deem worthless, Thangarg is there to guide them to victory, and to get you as many tournament points as possible. I'm going to show you in this video, I'll just give you a few cases, and as long as the enemy has an irisit on the team, you should be good. You should be good. And it all comes down to this spectacular ability. Which one is it? This one? Here we go. Uh, remove the following buffs from all enemies. Limiting damage taken and maximum HP percent. Increasing dodging chance by 100%. For each buff removed, the skill's damage is increased by 70%. Deals damage to all enemies. Has a 20% chance per living orc. Doesn't matter. We're not using the orcs. Because like I said, he doesn't care. He guides all... All factions, every child in the game is his child. He's here to spread the word of Thanarg. So, I hope you've been able to understand me this whole time. Um, if you don't, not my fault. I understand that some of you have trouble understanding me on the best of days. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get into it. I'm going to show you some fun little battles. We are jumping into battle. As you can see, there's a Crowley on this team. Also works if there is a Belladonna. And yeah, anyway, let's move into the fight. We'll see a lot of it's our turn. So what's going to happen? We're going to use Thane Argon. There you go. Now we're just going to take care of the old Crowley. Shouldn't be too hard. Awesome. I mean, we've even got a Grok on this team. Oh, hey. Grok gigs what? There you go. There you go. So there's one team. Let's jump into another. All right, another battle. Here we go. Out come the buffs. Beautiful. It's actually more effective against the um Belladonna version. So <laughs> if you are versing and you'll need to be specific. Verse the Belladonna version over the Crowley version. It's just a bit safer. There is also the chance that your Thanar can be skill locked for a turn. Um, just keep that in mind. There you go. Here is it lives this time. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna come through and clean this bad boy up anyway. Yeah, gatekeeper gets the kill that time. So yeah, it's very interesting. Now things to consider. In these videos, um in these videos, the main arg I am using is seven arcane stars, which is a <coughs> massively, massively a hard thing to achieve. You could try with a lower arcane stars, the results may not be as for forgiving but in saying that i'm also using very very weak teams so you could mix him with slightly stronger teams as well 
But here we are with the old goblins. I mean, when was the last time you properly used goblins in tournament? So, I mean, let's go ahead and have a look at this. Yeah, what's going to happen? Well, Polymorph comes out, that's fine. AoE comes out, that's okay as well. We can do whatever we want, and then there we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Another win with the goblins. I'm using a bloody sneaky biggie. So, keep that in mind. And there's another win. Remember, he gets that increased damage. So, here we are using a team of my most hated characters in the game. So, how's this going to hold up? Well, we'll find out. I mean, which is the one that stuns. We don't want to use that. We do not want to remove buffs. <laughs> All right, put them to sleep. Bada bing, bada boom. <coughs> oh. There we go. There we go. So it's um, it's very interesting. <coughs> Sorry, very interesting. Um, he was honestly. This has given him a, I'm going to pause the video for a second. Sorry, guys. Sorry. So, definitely adds a bit more to the whole question. Who's worth getting, Tristan or uh, Aynar? It's a hard question to answer. Now, mind you, this is only effective because of the current meta in the game. And that is the, just the dominance, the unrelentless dominance of the Renegades. Um, and people utilizing that, you would do your end game tournaments are full of the Renegade teams, a lot of them with Irizet, and this is just a way to get a lot of points. Um, so keep that in mind. Also, keep in mind that this Thanarch is maxed out. Now, a lot of people do not have the ability to get him to that level just yet. In saying that, a lot of people also did get him at four stars to begin with, four uh, purple stars. So they have that going for them over Tristan, who has no purple stars. So, I mean, it's obviously not uh, a achievement everyone can obtain. It's um, It requires a, a pretty expensive character, um, but the knowledge is now out there. If you have him and you feel like you made a mistake in your purchase, you, you might be sitting on a little gold mine. Because um, I can promise you Tristan can't do this. You're not going to get that many points out of Tristan in tournament. So <clears throat> anyway, I could go on talking, but I've, I am struggling, really <clears throat> struggling. So anyway, ladies, do you know, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I will answer it to the best of my ability. And we'll be around the world until next time. Please take care of yourselves.